TFPO story today. Oh my gosh. It's three years now. Even though it's been three, but three years now. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I just want to get to say thank you to everyone who support me. Please let me call me. It is everyone else that I've seen from outside and inside on TOP. So thank you to them and send me copy again. And there's lots of people I can list, but it's on the bottom. So if you see your name, thank you so much. And you will see some slideshow that I like the most on the last market video. And it's really helpful. And that's helped me for three years. And send me copy if you're watching this. Thank you for everything, and I love you guys so much, and I can't wait to meet you guys in person. Holy shoot! But honestly, if you watch this video, it makes me nervous, but at the same time, I'm happy to make this video. So enjoy this, and I hope you guys liked it. And everyone else, thank you for everything. Same thing, I love you guys so much. I can't wait to meet you guys in person someday, and let's separate it. But there's tons of people I want to shout out, but I can't. But I also want to say shout out to Hannah. Hannah was the first person I talked to on TFP, and it's her third year story with me, my friendship. And then I met lots of people, and I forget them. And I also want to say they are awesome, including Simon Kobe. So I love them so much. 
and they are awesome. I never forget them. They always be nice to me, and I don't know how they do it, but honestly, I'm happy, and I never forget that. So there's so many things I really, really appreciate. Been there, but then it's always three years now, so I can't name it. But honestly, I don't know how to say this in it. But honestly, oh my gosh. Thank God I could met lots of people on TFP. Even I don't know them. Some of do I know them in person in Twitter and Instagram. But honestly, I'm glad that I could talk to them and then I could talk to them TLP. But some of them are gone now, so I cannot show them. But however, I could show them on like the link on YouTube or Instagram or something like that. So honestly. I'm glad I know some of them. See, this is why I don't know things so much. So honestly, again, I keep saying honestly because I feel like honestly is my new word. So, <laughs> okay, well, shout out to them and shout out mostly Sam and Kobe because they the one who told me to join, but no, I don't want to tell myself to join. So they the first person who create that. If you read on the bottom on the post I make, it's like whole thing I do thank you them. But honestly, again, I keep saying honestly, I can help it. But they the one who I could look up to and expire, and they are like a hero. I can't because they like awesome. Like you can't love them, you have to love them more. So. So again, happy day your three TLP for me and no number what what happened and I do really 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 appreciate them so yeah so in yeah. scenario it doesn't matter if it's your friends, parents, enemies, teachers. If you want to figure out an answer to something, the best thing you could do is ask and talk it out. Again, if they give you a negative response or just don't want to talk at all, then at least you try to make amends and fix the situation. Starting with friends, you need to be direct and friendly with them. I would advise you to just confidently walk up and ask the direct question you want to know. For example, why have we stopped talking like we used to? I really miss that. You see, this is direct, but not not negative. It's never a good idea to come off as mean or aggressive in any situation, especially if you think of them as a friend to you. Most of the time, they'll end up giving you a direct answer back if you ask a direct question. Communicating with family. If there's ever something that you don't agree with that's happening in your household, or you're just wondering why this or that is happening, then talk to the parent you feel most comfortable with one-on-one. -on -one. Let them know how you feel and maybe offer a solution to the problem. For example, you don't like the way you've been treated compared to your little brother, who seems to get all the attention in the world. is based on the saying is believing effect. Tested hundreds of times, it's been proven that you'll believe, or at least more likely to believe, the thoughts that you express verbally to somebody else. Now you can take that idea and apply it to talking to yourself. Self-talk allows you to internally remodel your mind and the way that you think of yourself just by believing something new. Most people don't know the power that the mind truly has. We take all this for granted, but our internal perspective can actually redefine our physical perspective. The first one is using a mirror and being able to look at yourself as a different person. And secondly, don't refer to yourself in first person like me or I, but use you or your name. Psychologists say by using these two steps, you'll not only believe the things you say because you're talking to someone else, but because it is someone else, you'll be less harsh and actually more constructive. People that use their own names during self-talk are actually more supportive and give themselves advice. Self-talk is proven to be one of the most effective ways to relieve stress and improve yourself in basically all walks of life. On a physical level, by complimenting yourself and telling yourself that you're beautiful in front of a mirror, you can actually view yourself as a more attractive person. From another perspective, you can tell yourself you're going to be faster and actually get faster. 